I apologize for the way I sound. I really have a bad throat. Uh, it's so bad that my guest Scott thought that there's a problem with my mic, so I actually used AirPods for this episode. In this episode, I had a great conversation with Scott, who's head of sales for Alpha Point. Alpha Point is one of the top companies which provides ready-to-go live software for anyone who wants to run a crypto exchange. When I was running Zepay, we had evaluated Alpha Point and we had loved what they had built. And we could immediately see their value for anyone who wants to start a crypto exchange, even if you had a software development team. In this conversation, we discussed Alpha Point's exchange software, their new products like Yield Platform and their digital asset token platform. We discussed his recent Bitcoin Miami trip and some great takeaways from the trip. And finally, we discussed his views on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins. There's one more thing. We lost, unfortunately, Scott's video for this recording. And so we have to transcribe the video, especially for the YouTube video, or for the audio podcast, it doesn't matter. And so this uh, episode actually got quite delayed uh, to release, but finally, here it is. So let's get started. Hi, Scott. Thanks for coming on Sunny Bitcoin. Hey, Sunny. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Scott, so tell us a little bit about your background, how you got involved with Alpha Point and with crypto. Uh, seems like quite a journey from uh, coffee to crypto. Yeah, that's true. Just prior to joining Alpha Point, I had created a coffee company and ran that for three years. Prior to that, I worked in Silicon Valley at three different startups for 10 years. So the, the three-year coffee business was my sabbatical away from tech. And about that time, I really started missing the energy of the startup world and started evaluating the market for what was big and what was next. And I was coming across big data and AI. And in 2013, I discovered Bitcoin. And uh, shortly after that, I, I uh, met the two founders at Alpha Point, and I was the third person at Alpha Point. So I know you've just come back from Bitcoin uh, Miami and I'm totally suffering from FOMO because I couldn't make it uh, due to the travel restrictions in Singapore. We will, of course, talk about Bitcoin Miami, but first uh, let's talk a little bit about Alpha Point. So tell us a little bit about the founders and their vision with Alpha Point. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, Joe and Jack are the founders of Alpha Point. They're lifetime traders. They've been building accounting risk management and trading venue solutions their entire careers. They've built the core code for top exchanges. Well, our team has built the core code for top exchanges. They've built accounting and risk management systems for top FIs. They've built brokerage systems for the CME. So the team comes directly off of Wall Street. The company's headquartered in New York. And uh, these guys have been building these types of systems way before anybody ever said the words Bitcoin or blockchain. And we just applied all that expertise to the Alpha Point platform and our applications. I remember meeting someone from Alpha Point at the New York airport in 2017. And whenever someone asks me they want to start a crypto exchange, I always ask them to check out Alpha Point. So tell us what are some of the products and services that Alpha Point offers and who's your target customer? Yeah, so we offer a platform with two applications. In 2013, we went to market with our Apex application, A-P-E-X stands for Alpha Point Exchange. And this is your full scope, full stack exchange solution, enabling our clients to run a business, much like Coinbase or Gemini. So as a client of Alpha Point, you'll focus on meeting the regulatory requirements, given the jurisdictions that you operate on, get any uh, banking relationships in place, and then business 101, building your brand, right? And the other side of that equation is the tech stack. So Alpha Point provides two of the three main components. So the one thing that's outside of our scope is KYC. We're not a KYC company. So if you choose to do KYC, you'll typically choose a third party vendor for that. And the other two components is the uh, marketplace application and digital custody solutions. So those are the two places that we can help out the most. And what's the volume of trade going through uh, exchanges powered by Alpha Point software? Yeah, I think year to date, we're close to 10 billion in uh, trading activity. That's $10 billion per? What's the time period? 
Uh, you're, I'm looking at some numbers here. This was shared with me uh, prior, and I'm not even sure what the date is on this. But as of this writing, and I wish I knew the exact date, it was uh, close to $10 billion in aggregate. I'm under the impression it's much higher than that now. This might be a little bit of a dated document. Sure, Scott. And of course, I want to discuss some of your products more in detail. But before that, I want to get an idea of your customer profile. Your website uh, says that you have over 150 customers in 35 countries. Can you tell us some of your most uh, prominent, your biggest customers? Yeah, that's true. So we have clients on all five continents. We have clients in heavily regulated environments like Europe, Middle East, We have clients throughout Africa, Southeast Asia, uh, clients throughout North America, South America. So we've been doing this longer than anybody else has. And our client base has uh, really grown over the years. So in the beginning, 2013, 2014, it was early adopters, smaller entrepreneurial groups who had a background in either trading or finance or banking and wanted to get into this exciting new space. Then over time, the sophistication of our clients have grown tremendously. And so we now are in business with multi-billion dollar multinational corporations. And in fact, I just signed a new client, a multi-billion dollar client with a directive of customer retention. So they have customers, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of customers that are transacting with them today, and they do not want those customers leaving their ecosystem to go transact for these digital assets someplace else. And so we're enabling this new client of ours to offer their customers access to these digital assets that the that their customer base is looking for. Yeah, absolutely makes sense, especially with uh, what we are seeing happening in the market since the last uh, year. What are the benefits for someone running a crypto exchange to go with Alpha Point software versus building their own? Yes. I would say that the number one thing that we provide is uptime and security. I guess that's the number one and number two things. So that's very hard to do. It really, these systems are very complex. And they're complex from a number of different vectors. Not only is the tools themselves, the applications themselves, high-frequency trading systems are very complex systems. But then when it comes to securing digital assets, securing the database itself, providing permissions and control settings for your employees, like these systems get very deep, very fast. And there's a lot to take into consideration. Alpha Points invested over $35 million dollars into the development of our platform. And it's built by the very best people uh, on the planet. And that all adds up to a tremendous value for our clients. So if our clients are focused on getting to market swiftly and focused on building their brand and growing revenues, and they wanna do that in 60 days from contract signing, that's what we can do. And if they do have technical resources, and developers on their team, I always encourage them to deploy those resources outside of our scope. So let AlphaPoint do what we do best, and that is provide the technical infrastructure at the core level, and then extend your technical resources uh, outside of our scope. And that could be building uh, UI, UX, mobile applications, integrations, or even extending the core functionality of an exchange into other lines of business, such as payment processing or powering ATMs. That was just a couple of examples that come to mind. You certainly could attempt to build one of these yourselves, but Alpha Point clients have found a tremendous value in partnering with us, and they continue to renew their service with us as well. So I think there's a, a lot of value to be had by having a, a team and platform that is as proven as as Alpha Point. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. And I want to make sure that the audience gets some of the highlights that you mentioned. And I clearly remember that when we were running Zeppe, and, uh, you know, me along with my other co-founders, we were running Zeppe, the technical challenges in scaling up an exchange, especially if you're doing it just for the first time and for your own exchange, is, I think, underestimated. And a lot of people come to me and they want to start a crypto exchange and they want some advice. And I think they, uh, again, they underestimate the tech involvement that goes into building and running an exchange. 
you mentioned that somebody could go live in about 60 days uh, after signing up with Alpha Point. Uh, that is really fast. Is that true? That's what you mentioned? Yes, yeah, 60 days from contract signing is a good budget of time. And during that period of time, you're going to have a dedicated deployment team. We're going to create a project plan and we're going to execute against that. And it, it works really well. And yeah, as far as uh, the sophistication of these systems, yeah, we can get a little deeper into that. At, at the core, Alpha Point and the Apex application is an accounting and risk management system. And then we have a few modules built on top of that. We have an order matching engine. We have an order management system or OMS. And then we have gateways as well. And we're able to scale at each one of these vectors. So each order matching engine for Alpha Point performs at nearly a million transactions per second. Each order management system manages 5 million accounts. And each gateway can support 50,000 simultaneous users. And so as an Alpha Point client scales up and requires additional resources, the Alpha Point platform can keep up with them, both from simultaneous user perspective, managing number of accounts on the exchange, and then actually executing processing and matching the orders at nearly a million transactions per second. And you mentioned that if you have a technical development team, then you can use them to, for example, to build a UI UX, which means that it's not that all Alpha Point exchanges look the same. You can actually customize the front-end interaction and user interface and still have Alpha Point as the backend and create that differentiated product, which in terms of user experience, if you have that on your mind. That is correct. I think of the application in two layers. There's the UI UX layer, and that communicates via APIs and other protocols to the backend processing. At the UI UX layer, we'll provide you a code base. We'll provide you the source code. During the deployment process, we'll brand it to your organization with your logo, color scheme, content, language translations. From there, my recommendation is always get to market as swiftly as possible and then iterate. So feel free to use the templates as is and then iterate from there. But again, if you have a sophisticated team that is confident they can build a UI from scratch on top of our API and other protocols, hey, we have clients that have done it and they do it very well. Yeah, and of course, somebody who wants to consider Alpha Point will have a deeper conversation with you. But just to highlight some of the top features for somebody who might be listening uh, to this podcast, Mobile apps are the rage. Does the Alpha Point Exchange support your customer having a mobile version of the exchange as well? Yes, I agree with you. Mobile applications and accessing uh, the system via mobile apps is, is very important. So the web interface that we provide is mobile reactive and adaptive. Our clients have taken an extra step and actually built native mobile apps that communicate to the processing via APIs and other protocols. And our next iteration of our release is going to be enabling our clients to have a native mobile app much easier. Alpha Point's core competencies really is in the accounting, risk management, and order management and security and high performance. And that's the back end, the heavy lifting. That's really where our core competencies are and always has been. Managing the workload and security and all that heavy lifting. That being said, we do appreciate and value the UI and the UX. And we have dedicated additional resources so that Alpha Point clients can offer the best of both worlds. Not only is this the most highest performing and secure platform on the planet, we also want to make sure their customers are having the best experience they can as well. And you've mentioned the risk management and security a couple of times. Can you elaborate that a little bit in terms of features for the customer? Because obviously, this is a massive deal for running a crypto exchange. Correct. Yeah. Uptime is very important and security is very important as well. So security comes in a number of vectors. First is securing the digital assets themselves. Alpha Point can enable you to be your own digital custodian if you choose. What that means is that Alpha Point will give you guidance on the data center and the machines. You'll actually create two separate environments. And then you'll basically grant Alpha Point access. In one environment, we're going to install software called Capital Controls. 
And in the second environment, we're going to install the wallets. We're going to do a key ceremony so that you have the keys and not alpha point, and then you lock us out. And on a case by case basis, if the software needs updating or if the wallets need maintenance, we'll provide that service for you. So on a case by case basis, you'll grant us access, we'll do the work, and then you'll lock us back out again. So for our most sophisticated clients that have experience in managing hot wallets and cold storage, this is a really good option for them. For other clients that are less inclined for that, they'll choose a third party like BitGo or Fireblocks or whoever they wish because the Alpha Point Apex application is independent of the digital custody itself. It just communicates with the, the custody service in order to process deposits and withdraws of digital assets for their customers. So digital custody and security is very important, but there's other vectors as well too, such as your own employees. Unfortunately, a number of exchanges have been hacked and it's safe to say that a number of them were hacked internally. And so you need a system that has a very robust rights and permissioning system. And so with Alpha Point, our administrative console makes it very easy for you to uh, create a role and then assign the rights and permissions to that role. And then as new employees are coming on board, you can just assign them to a role with a single click of the button and it will populate them with all the rights and permissions that have been granted to them. We actually have over 500 API endpoints to connect to. Each one of them is, can be configured with 4i approval, administrative approval, 2FA. So not only is there this base layer for security, but then there's actually levels of sophistication built on top of that as well. System goes pretty deep, pretty fast. Absolutely. And again, just from my experience at Zepay, I know to develop each of these modules, even with 30, 50 developers, there would be like a response time of two to three months for every such massive feature to be deployed on the exchange. And uh, it's it just... Yeah. Here's another thing about no, development not. too, is they... It's in their nature to overpromise and underdeliver. So in their mind, they're like, hey, if nothing else existed in the world, I could do that in 40 hours worth of work. Eh, I'll get it to you in a week. But <laughs> that's not how the real world works. You're not going to code for 40 hours straight, and it's going to be perfect when it comes out. So not only do you got to write the code over months, it then has to go through QA and then beta, and then you got to fix all the bugs, and then maybe you have some production-ready uh, code nine or 12 months later. And a lot of people don't appreciate that full process from when you write your first lines of code to when you're really ready to be battle-tested in the world. Because I can tell you, Alpha Point has been battle-tested, probably by state actors trying to penetrate the database from external sources and they were unable to do. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of strong, compelling reasons why you would partner with a company like Alpha Point to power your exchange and, and other business services. Yeah, absolutely. All the features that you mentioned is they're all critical to run a crypto exchange. And it's not possible because it's money's involved that you start with a MVP. There are some of the features which are just absolutely basically required. And uh, all that you're talking about, it would be just so easy to get started, especially for somebody who's new to uh, the space and still wants to start a crypto exchange. So I can totally appreciate this. Can you tell us a little bit about the pricing mechanism? Because I think that is also an important point for consideration. And I know we had that when we had our discussions with Alpha Point, especially when you want to decide whether to outsource this entire massive aspect of the business versus build it internally. Correct. Yeah. So there's three main components. There is a one-time startup fee, and then there are two ongoing components. There's a monthly minimum fee and a revenue share. I don't want to plug numbers into that because that might get dated over time. Our prices do increase as the value that we deliver increases. But I can tell you that depending on who you are, we probably have a pricing tier that works well for you. So if you are an entrepreneurial group who may have raised one or two million, three to five million, and you're going to allocate a portion of that to licensing technologies, probably a good fit for you. If you are a multi-billion dollar bank or financial institution, 
and you're looking for pricing that does not include a revenue share, and you're just looking for a flat rate, we have pricing that works for you as well. Yeah, that's great. And it's finally, uh, I know there's a component which is revenue share. So if you make revenue, then you share, of course, besides the minimum. So that's great to know. Scott, am I right in saying that for someone starting a crypto exchange, it could be a good idea to go with Alpha Point, but once they become big, they would start building their own uh, exchange software. Is, is that a correct interpretation? It's not correct or incorrect. It's certainly a path forward. I can tell you that many of our clients tried to build their own or they went with another vendor and had a horrible experience. Many of them couldn't even actually get live in production. There was just so many challenges. They just never got live and they migrated to Alpha Point. I can also tell you, and I think after they've gone through that experience, I don't think they plan on leaving us anytime soon. I can also tell you that clients that have been with us for many years now, five, six years now, they're free to go at any time. The term of their agreement is expired and they choose to renew and continue with Alpha Point. And I think it has to do with a lot of things. Running a business like this is extremely capital intensive and it's complex. So not only are you dealing with customer acquisition and customer support, but you're also dealing with compliance and meeting the regulatory burden given the jurisdictions you operate in. So there's a lot to do on the business side of things. On the tech stack, yeah, AlphaPoint's gonna provide you a big part of that scope. But then again, like we're, there's plenty of work to do outside of our scope too. So if you're well-funded and well-funded to the point where you have 10, 20, 30, 50 million dollars or more, maybe 50 million or more, and you already have your team established and they've already built these systems, so it's not their first time trying to figure all this stuff out, then maybe that's what you go and do. But from what I find and what I've found and what my clients reflect to me is these systems aren't easily replicated and the value that we deliver to our clients, the value that we deliver our costs relative to the revenues that they're generating we, our clients are generating such tremendous revenues now, and the amount that they pay us is such a small percentage of the overall revenue that the value they're experiencing and the peace of mind that they get. With Alpha Point, we have a service level agreement, an SLA, and it defines things like uptime, downtime, maintenance time, service level agreements with the service level credits, and it has guaranteed response time. So for our clients, 24-7, 365, every minute of every day, we have response times in under 30 minutes globally. It's difficult to have your own team respond to you in under 30 minutes. It really just comes down to value. And with Alpha Point, our clients just really appreciate the value that they're receiving. And just for the audience, and again, somebody who's run an exchange, I completely agree with uh, Scott's uh, comments. And I'm just, I, I was smiling when you said that with your own team, the response time cannot be less than 30 minutes. And especially if you have a tech co-founder, <laughs> so right. there's a lot more second order. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, that and on top of that, your relationship. many times, given all the monitoring that we built into the system, we internally can see something's not right, even before our customer does. And we can actually proactively jump on it and give them a heads up that, hey, we, we're seeing something. It's, it's exciting to be at Alpha Point. It's really pleasing to, from a business perspective to see our customers grow and see the success they're having. And it's just really satisfying to see that. And not only is our customers growing, but Alpha Point's growing. We're hiring. We're looking for the very best at whatever they do. So if they're developers, if they're sales engineers, if they're customer success oriented, if they're experts in deployment or security or QA, like we, we're really growing rapidly. So if you want to get into a really exciting space and you want to join a company of people who really care and execute and have the track record to prove it, yeah, reach out to us. How large is the team currently and where are you based out of? Yes. So we're headquartered in New York. We also have a small presence in Pune, India. There's no development work that does out of Pune, but we have a small select group that helps with the 24-7, 365 support. 
They've been with us for many years. They're product experts and they provide world-class support. As far as the development is concerned, all the development is done in New York. And I think you asked another question too. Oh, you asked the size of the team. So prior to COVID, we were quite large and then COVID hit and we scaled back tremendously for a number of reasons. And I would say now we're probably 40 to 50 employees and we're scaling back up and we'll probably be over 100 employees before too long again. And, um, you know, when I checked out Alpha Point in 2017, the product that you mentioned, the Alpha Point Exchange, was one of the main products that you offer. But now I can see that there are a lot of other products which I believe are a rage in the current bull cycle, like yield platform and asset digitization. Tell us a little bit more about these products, Scott. Yes, thank you for asking. So APAD, A-P-A-D, stands for Alpha Point Asset Digitization. This is an application that we created probably around 2018. And it just makes it really simple for an end user to interface with a blockchain. So APAD is a templated driven application. The template has fields that captures attributes. And when you click create, all of that code gets converted into a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can create a template for any asset that you might have. So the asset might be real estate or commodities. It really doesn't matter, right? So you can create a template, call it real estate. Then you can, within the template, create fields and maybe the field is type and the answer would be commercial versus residential, right? And so you create this key value pair, these KVPs. And we just make it really simple. So when you click create, all that code gets converted into a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. The second step is tokenizing that smart contract. And we utilize the ERC-20 protocol. So in just a couple clicks, you can populate that smart contract with a, a billion tokens, whatever you'd like. And so now you have the smart contract and the tokens, and that's APAD. You move that into the Apex environment, that's your marketplace for primary issuance and then a secondary market for price discovery and liquidity. So you may have a project that's looking to raise funds. And so you've created a million tokens and you've communicated through via the investor portal. The issuer is communicating to the investor about the opportunity. The issuer can upload images, content, collateral, term sheets, et cetera. The investor can come to the portal, browse the offerings, determine what's right for them. And in a couple clicks, make a purchase or a trade. So that's primary issuance into the marketplace. Now that the investor has this asset, at some point in the future, he may choose to get liquid on his investment. And so that's the secondary market. That's for price discovery and liquidity. So that's your order matching engine, your order book. You're able to, as the investor, to say, hey, I'm willing to sell 10 tokens at $10 a piece, whatever it might be. So that's APAD, that's Apex. And our latest release is Yield. What Yield does is you can imagine as an end user of an exchange, you've come on and you bought Bitcoin or Ethereum, and now you have an account balance and measure in Bitcoin or Ethereum. And you would like to allocate that to an interest bearing account. So in a couple of clicks, the customer can express their intent to the exchange. Hey, put this into an interest bearing account. On the back end, in the administrative console, we have a full suite of tools that help you manage that. So you'll be able to see exactly who has expressed their intent. You'll have tools to determine your counterparty. So you as the exchange is going to face the marketplace and you're going to have a counterparty like BlockFi or Celsius or the Alpha Point Liquidity Solution. And you're going to have a tool set that enables you to uh, manage sending those assets out, calculating the return, ingesting the data back from the counterparty, and then ultimately uh, distributing that yield back to the customer. So the customer's UI and UX account will reflect the yield that they've earned. That's amazing. Uh, and, uh, these products are really becoming popular. I think every crypto exchange is becoming like a bank and uh, needs to offer a yield platform. And I can just imagine uh, how much time uh, you know, it would take to build it internally. That's great. Does Alpha Point support NFTs or any plans for that? So our marketplace supports any asset. 
So it's a product agnostic marketplace. So if somebody, we wouldn't necessarily support the creation of NFTs, but once the NFT is created and you wanted to create a secondary market or even a primary market for primary issuance, NFTs are interesting. There's different kinds of marketplaces. Like what we've been describing tonight is a spot exchange for price discovery and liquidity. But there's other types of marketplaces. So for things like NFTs, it might be more of like an auction style marketplace, right? Where one person outbids the next person, the clock is ticking down. And then when the clock hits zero, whoever has the highest bid wins. We don't have that type of marketplace. We have more of the traditional spot exchange marketplace. But once that NFT is owned, you could technically create a secondary market for it. Got it. And any new products coming soon? Any Sunny Bitcoin special announcement? Maybe the NFT auction style marketplace? Yeah, perhaps. We have a lot of clients that are using our technology in a number of different ways, creating marketplace for all kinds of different assets. So we're really excited about what they are bringing to the market. As far as what's next for Alpha Point, I think we're just going to continue working within the scope that we've currently defined. There's a lot of work to do within that. That scope goes very deep. And once we've accomplished everything that we want to do within the existing scope, I'm very confident that we'll look to what's next outside. So how was Bitcoin Miami? Oh, man, it was great. It it, it exceeded my expectations. Great venue, uh, great lineup, very entertaining, really well attended. We had a booth. And all three days, our booth was just filled. I think we brought a thousand t-shirts. Some of them were branded to that event alone. So they're collector's items. The corporate events that people sponsored outside of the conference were just top notch, really well done. And then look, you're in Miami, right? So the nightlife in Miami is uh, top notch as well. So all around great time. Didn't get much sleep, that's for sure. (laughs) I'm based in Singapore, and of course, I was. My entire Twitter feed was filled with photographs from Bitcoin Miami. And I was like wondering, isn't there a pandemic going on? Because our borders are shut and everybody's over there. So I was like, (laughs) am I the only one over here? Yeah, I I, I hope they hold it there again sometime. I know it's. I've been to that conference in San Francisco and LA and other places, but this was my favorite so far. That's amazing. And you've been to the conference. Who do you think the conference is for? Is it for Bitcoin maxis like me or is it also for Bitcoin noobs? Yeah, that particular event, they really position themselves as a Bitcoin only event. That being said, I saw a lot of stuff going on. These conferences are fantastic. If you're a noob, it's a great opportunity to understand the entire ecosystem. When you walk the floor of a conference like that, you can see all the different businesses and the niches that they fill. That conference had fantastic lineup. So the speakers there were really good as well. And you get to meet so many people. I've been fortunate enough since 2013 to travel the globe with Alpha Point from London to Beijing and everything in between. And you really end up making connections that will last years and years. So it's, they're great. I I always recommend getting to a conference. They're fantastic. Totally. Zoom cannot substitute that experience. Absolutely. And I think it's great to have a Bitcoin only conference because I stopped going to conferences like consensus and stuff, because like, I, I remember going to consensus in 2017 and Blockstream's booth was like at a corner. And I was like the one of the most prominent companies is hidden somewhere behind because all this other crap is going on in such conferences. So it's great to have a Bitcoin maximalist kind of a conference which focuses only on Bitcoin, which is the biggest uh, asset out there. Any key takeaways from the conference, Scott? I, I would say that one of the biggest takeaways is it's so early. This is a guy who's been in it since 2013. And then look, I'm not an OG compared to the, the guys that came before me. But when I look at, look, I've been to conferences where there was like four people in the audience. In Miami, there was like 20,000 people there. And everybody from Fortune 500 CEOs all the way down to you name it. And yeah, one of the biggest takeaways I would say is just, we're still so early. This technology is going to change the world. 
It's going to be adopted at all levels. And it's just really exciting. And some of the announcements like with El Salvador and the rapid uptake that they, uh, I just saw that they're, they're going to start powering Bitcoin miners by volcanoes. How awesome is that? So it's exciting times. And you're going to see other governments jump on board. You're going to see several sovereign wealth funds get more involved. You're going to see pension plans. Bitcoin is the world's hardest money. It's the greatest store of value. It's the one asset that you can't afford not to have exposure to. Everything other than Bitcoin is still an experiment. It is a thousand times riskier than Bitcoin. Not saying that it's not going to be successful. I'm just saying that it's a thousand times more riskier. Having a conference that is focused on Bitcoin was true to my heart as well. I think there are, those are some absolutely great takeaways, <clears throat> especially for some of the audience who feel that they are late because they always see the past. At the conferences in 2013-14, exactly at single digit, a few hundreds of people, and even 10,000 people is not a lot. There are fintech conferences or other tech conferences which have hundreds and thousands of people. So this is these are still extremely early days and the entire infrastructure is being built, still being built. None of the major countries or the governments are involved. So you're absolutely right. Completely agree with you. What's your take on, on the current uh, Bitcoin price in the market? I think Bitcoin's at a great price right now. It's uh, down 50% from an all-time high that was just a couple months ago. All the great news that's that's out there right now. Look, the best time to buy Bitcoin was yesterday. And the next best time to buy Bitcoin is today. And I encourage people to either um, buy it. If you, got a, if you got a little bit, you can put into it. Just buy it. And then don't even think about it for four years. Nobody who has ever bought Bitcoin lost money four years later. Everyone who bought Bitcoin four years ago is, made, is in there above what they bought it for. And four years from now, 99% sure it's going to be valued greater than it is right now. So either dollar cost average in or just have a long time horizon. One of the best things about Bitcoin is it will, it'll teach you patience and it's in discipline. And if you're young, understanding markets and understanding assets and understanding money and understanding just how the global economy works, getting involved, getting started with Bitcoin at, at any level is just going to look. I could only imagine if I was 15 years old today and discovered Bitcoin, what would my life look like 30 years later? I'm just so excited for the young generation who's discovering Bitcoin today. And by the time they get to my age, oh my gosh, I just couldn't imagine. That's one of my biggest regrets is that I'm not 18 years old right now because I would love to be acquiring Bitcoin at 18 versus. Yeah, I, I can see the uh, Bitcoin conference hangover with your, uh, you know, comments. Absolutely. But, <laughs> but totally agree. And do you have any personal views on the other altcoin, uh, altcoins, Ethereum, Dogecoin? I think Michael Saylor says it best. If you want. Bitcoin as a store of value, I don't think that there is going to be another asset that can provide you a store of value like Bitcoin can and will. Outside of that, you have utility tokens and then you have like applications, right? And Ethereum is an application. That's really what it is. It's really a brand more than anything else because Ethereum 1.0 is going to be a completely different species from Ethereum 2.0. The only thing that remains the same is the brand name. And so I say that in the context that these things are still experiments and I don't hate on them. If people want to do business on distributed ledgers like Ethereum, if they bring value to the world, great. I, I think when it, if you want to dive into the Bitcoin maximalism versus all this other stuff, I don't think that people are not wanting innovation. So the toxicity of the Bitcoin environment is really about informing people that there's a lot of scams out there and there's a lot of marketing and there's a lot of hype and they don't tell you just how experimental these things are. 
And they also don't, you know, reflect on the fact that there's been 10,000 other iterations and 9,000 of them are dead and gone. And of the thousand that's remaining today, 99% of them are going to be dead and gone. Now, all that being said, there's probably going to be some winners. Just appreciate the fact that it's going to be extremely difficult to choose the winner out of everything that's out there for everything that's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin has already established itself as the premier store of value on the planet. Everything else still has to prove themselves for whatever niche they're going to fulfill. That's my personal opinion. I'm here representing Alpha Point, just as a full disclaimer. You know, when I talk about Bitcoin and my passion, that's purely just me talking. I can tell you there's other people on my team that, that feel that otherwise, right? Huge Ethereum fans, huge chain link fans, and hey, more power to them as well. I think in time, we'll see uh, where the value lies. I think Scott, some fantastic comments, and I totally agree with you. I just tweeted yesterday, Bitcoin is the internet. And Ethereum is a company, uh, uh, and like the way you mentioned that it's a brand name. Uh, so I'm totally aligned with at least what you're saying. And again, you can decide whether you want to be interested in a company or the internet. So for me, I'm interested in the internet of money, which is Bitcoin. Scott, uh, talking to you takes me back to the days when we were running an exchange and how we were looking at Alpha Point as a solution so that we could offload some major tech bottlenecks we used to face if you like this video podcast, please like and subscribe. Before we wrap up, how can people find you and find Alpha Point? Sure. AlphaPoint.com. If you'd like to learn more about the company, the Twitter handle is AlphaPointLive, L-I-V-E. And my Twitter is AlphaPointScott, S-C-O-T-T. So AlphaPointScott. You can reach me on Twitter there. I'm also on LinkedIn. So yeah, feel free to find me. And if you want to learn more, I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Scott, thank you for doing this and thank you for coming on Sunny Bitcoin. Yeah, thank you so much. Ho hopefully uh, our paths will cross again soon. I get to Singapore from time to time and I love it in Singapore, great place. And I'm in San Francisco. The company's headquartered in New York, but anytime you get to San Francisco, let me know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.